Hi, in this video we are going to talk about the theoretical background for the so-called bean packing problem. So let's get started. What is the bean packing problem? Objects of different volumes must be packed into a finite number of bins or containers, each of volume V, in a way that minimizes the number of bins used. And in the main, how to fit several things into containers in an efficient way? That's the problem we try to solve. It is an MP complete problem. When the number of bins is restricted to one and each item is characterized by both a volume and value, the problem of maximizing the value of items that can fit in the bin is known as the knapsack problem. The knapsack problem is very important because of lots of lots of problems out there can be reduced to this knapsack problem. So there are several solutions. The naive approach or the so-called brute force search, iterate over all the bins, try to put the current item in the bin, and if it fits, call the same method with the next item recursively. It is very slow. So we have the first fit algorithm. Iterate over all the items we want to put into bins. If we are not able to put it into a given bin, we try to put it into the next one. It often yields non-optimal solutions in the main. The first fit decreasing algorithm is a bit better. Sorting the items in decreasing order at the beginning may be helpful. And after the sorting procedure, we use first fit algorithm. And it yields non-optimal solutions in the main, but sometimes it is working fine. Why is it good? It is non-optimal. But we are going to write an algorithm that's going to be faster than the brute force search. So what about the first fit algorithm? We have the items. Items with 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then 5, then 6, and 3. And we have the bins. And the capacity of the bins is 8. So we have 5 bins. And of course, we try to put the items into the bins. And the first fit algorithm, we iterate over the items and we try to find out whether it is fit into the first bin or not. If it's not fit into the first bin, we go to the second one and the third one and so on. But we come to the conclusion that the first item is fit into the first bin, so we put it there. Then we can put the second item into the first bin as well. But the third item is not able to be put into the first one, so we put it into the second bin. Then we put the next item into the third bin because it's not going to fit into the first and it's not going to fit into the second bin. Then we put it into the fourth bin because it's not able to fit into the first, the second and the third bin. But we come to the conclusion that the last item we are able to pack it into the third bin. So this is going to be the solution for the first fit algorithm and we are going to use four bins. What about the first fit decreasing algorithm? As we have discussed earlier, we have to sort the items and we can do it with the help of quick sort or merge sort in n log n time complexity. This is the so-called logarithmic time complexity. So first we sort it in a decreasing manner and we try to put the biggest item into the first bin. And we come to the conclusion that, okay, it is feasible. So we put it into the first bin. Then the second one, we put it into the second because it is not able to fit into the first one. Then the third item will go to the third bin because we are not able to put it into the first and to the second bin. Then we put it into the fourth bin. Then we come to the conclusion that the, this three item is going to fit into the three bin. And we are able to pack it into the second bin. And okay, we come to the conclusion that we again have to use four bins, but if we have several items, lots of lots of items and lots of lots of bins, in the main, this first fit decreasing algorithm is going to be better than just the first fit algorithm without the sorting procedure. And the sorting procedure, we can do it quite fast with the help of quick sort and merge sort as we have discussed, so logarithmic time complexity. So this is how we solve these problems. And why is it so important to solve this bin packing problem? Because it has several applications. For example, in transportation, we have n groups of people with group sizes W1, W2, W3, up to Wn. And we have minibuses with capacity C. So what is the optimal number of minibuses when the groups must stay together? 
It means that the W1, W2, and WN, we are not able to separate these groups. And virtual machines often have to solve this problem. And television advertisements rely heavily on this technique. We are given a certain time slot for advertisements, for example, 10 minutes. And how do we pack the most commercials into each time slot and maximize our daily profits? We have to solve this bin packing problem. So this is a theoretical background. Thanks for watching.